Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Tips and Tactics from Guild Wars 2 Online. Today we're going to be looking at a capture point, in particular the mine on the forest of Niflhel and we're going to show you how to first of all defend this point and then secondly how to attack it. So from a defending point of view you've got a few different points you've got to keep an eye on. This area here, this sort of choke point is probably one of the best directions you want players to be coming through. Uh, you can choke them up very easily in there, it gives you a good target for AoEs, uh, most even the smallest AoEs do fit in that gap so you can uh, get those attacks off in there. You've also got this entrance point here which is the more commonly used one. Uh, the choke point here isn't quite as tight, you can see it does still choke a little bit as they try to come around this corner but you do have of course have a bit more space for them to spread out uh, once they get out of it as well. Lastly, you've got this actual area down here, so by where this river waterfall area is, uh, there's actually a shortcut which they can use to come up the back, so you do need to keep one eye uh, out down there to make sure you're not getting anyone sneaking up on you. Another interesting area is this sort of mine shaft bit at the back. Uh, it's not really utilised too much, but if you're defending the point, uh, you can actually hide back here, see both capture points and be invisible to the enemy, so you get a bit of the drop on them and the element of surprise. Of course, if you're not actually standing on the capture point, they will be taking it, um, so that does of course have a weakness to it. Um, but obviously it takes them a long time to come all the way around here to come and fight you um, up on here. So there's two sides to every story really, like this point. So, if you're going to attack this capture point, if you're coming from this sort of direction, so say you've come off the beach, uh, it's generally better to use the ladder. It does take slightly longer, people are put off because of that, but it does take you into a slightly more uh, spacious area. You're not going to get caught in the choke point down there. You've got a bit more room to uh, manoeuvre around. And if you're coming up from this direction, again, you want to be spreading out as soon as you get up here. As soon as you hit this point, you want to be banking over here to the left. Uh, coming around here, you've got this to defend yourself from here, so you can use the terrain to your advantage uh, when you're taking on and trying to capture the capture point. Uh, lastly, that actual area we said about before, this little shortcut, it's usable, um, it's not the fastest route onto the point. It's useful more if you're trying to sneak up on someone, say you're playing some sort of thief class or something like that. And say as you're getting to this point here, you'd want to stealth uh, and then come onto the point itself. So that's basically the mine in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed this show. We're going to be breaking down lots of other capture points and showing you how to utilise them in future episodes. Thank you very much.